I look like one of those trolls under the bridge, bro. Thank y'all, boys. Everybody who is new to the channel, make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, because we are on the way to 10K. It's your boy, Bailey Wise. And as you can see, bro, we got a busy day. You can see all the goals. This is how you manifest your dreams, bro. Write it down on the mirror. It's the cheat code. I promise y'all reread it every morning to yourself, and it will happen. So as y'all saw in the last video, at the end of it, I did just pick up my wheels because my wheel did come in for my car to be able to fix. So I'm about to take these Apex wheels today, drop these off, and if you don't know what is going on and you're new to the channel, the Z got busted and beat up, or you can see the bent Apex wheel right here. So I'm taking this wheel, dropping it off, getting the new wheel, this tire, put on the new wheel. Then I'm gonna get that one remounted and balanced because it's got a bunch of dirt and it might have dirt inside. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. We also got work, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work and figuring out when I can take those and drop those off and figuring out what parts I gotta drop off to Tony, what parts are getting ordered, you know, the whole ordeal of the broken Z01 coming back to life. Also, let me know down below if I should wrap my car or paint it because I got to figure that out and it's probably close in similarity, maybe a little bit more to wrap the car than it is to paint it, but let me know if I should paint it and throw long tubes on it or maybe I should wrap it or wait for a wrap, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but let me know down below. I'm about to take a shower because I can't look like a troll character no more. I've probably done got cracked on and probably scared half of the viewers away from looking like this. So let me get ready with y'all boys. I'm hopping in the shower. Next time y'all see me, I'll look a little bit better. She ready, baby. I might. I can see hopefully this is the last time y'all see the dented wheel. We got our new one right here, and we're gonna take that one and get it cleaned up. We got that Ranger stacked up three deep today. <laughs> Shout out Jack in the middle, Jim on the side. What's up? We're about to drop off these wheels and tires. I'm gonna pick up with y'all boys in just one minute. And we're about to go eat inside. Not inside. In, in the Ranger three not deep muck bay. In the Ranger, so we're about right, to you, gotta, you want that? Talk to him, give him some inspiration, yeah, Jack. Tell him something. I did yesterday, y'all. Right, we already know we're back at it again. Dang, Big Jim. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, hit me. Big Bay. You spitting on the lens? That shit might uh, be a fish my, eye lens. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My lens about got waterfalled on. Oh, that shit water it's waterproof. Big Jim by right there. What's up, bud? Throw that window down. It's hot as fuck in here. <laughs> Sorry for my language. It's PG. It's a family channel, but we're gonna sometimes to, we slip up. We're going to have to cut that but out. But you need to go get them motherfucking babies out the room Hey, right stop now. by my car there for real. Really? What yes. are you talking about? Serious, I need to stop. What do you need? Just go in my no, car. No, no, what do you, what do you need? need? My what do you need? Pod? No, hell no. Uh-uh. Well, no, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. We got a yeah, keep moving, keep moving. You got it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Jim's going to let me uh, hit. But by yeah, the way, yeah. hey. My boy right keep moving, keep moving. Y'all go support my boy, though. Like, comment, subscribe. We smash the like, <laughs> smash that like button for the Ranger. Like right the there. video, <laughs> the <Z> like <laughs> the video. <laughs> <laughs> we coming back better than ever soon. Rangers down, Rangers up, or not Rangers? Yeah, Rangers up. ZL1 is down. For some reason, I've been stuck on this GT3 RS, and I was just putting this side by side because where y'all can, y'all can see the Z. That pick is crazy, but y'all can see this, bro. Dream GT3 RS just went for sale. I might try to go look at it or something if I get time. I don't know how um, or what, but bro, dream build and the price on it is insane. GT3 RS bucket seats. I just like the door panels, bro. The door straps, it's like a Ventador type. And then fire hydrant, bro. It's got everything roll cage, the color, bro. Dream, dream build. But I'm going to somehow try to figure out how to go look at this thing, bro. Look at the roll cage, bro. Imagine not being able to tint your car because of the roll cage is in the way, bro. My fault. Can't get back there. My roll cage is in the way. But look at this, bro. Coming soon. Y'all let me know. I got my vision board up here, so I'm trying to somehow manifest into this, making it come true. Another day in the life. I'm about to go pick up my wheels and tires off the ZL1. They just called me, so I'm going to hop in the Ranger. You can see there at some point today at work while I get some free time. We're going to go pick up the Z wheels, and then I have to get coolant for my new radiator for the Z. And we're going to drop all those off to Tony at some point today, but we're about to walk into work. 
see what we got going on, and I'm gonna pick up with y'all boys in just a minute. Bye. Here's the bay. My advice to anybody, don't put white floors in a tent bay, bro. I can mop this, and it'll still be some stuck after. White floors are terrible. I need to invest in like some of those mats. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow, cause my hair is looking goofy. To the Ranger, we're about to go pick up these ZL1 wheels. Give y'all a new look. It's like lunchtime. My video is dropping in like four hours, and everybody's about to know that I wrecked the Z. Maybe the life will be changed. We'll figure out God's plan. If y'all are watching this and I'm at like 100K all of a sudden, shout out all my new viewers. Y'all are speaking to past Bailey. But I love all of y'all. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. We're going to let the Ranger warm up. We in that tinked. Shout out to Midas, bro. Every time they get your boy right, they are in the back, as y'all boys can see back there. Memories cost a lifetime, so never gonna be able to get that back. So I'm gonna like end up turning my old bent wheel into some sort of furniture or something. I'll be running all over the place as always, bro. Trying to keep up the nine to five and the YouTube grind for y'all. You know, just to show y'all it is possible. A lot of people say they wanna start YouTube or start social media and always say that they don't have enough time, but I'm literally living proof for everybody. I'm from a small town. I am working a nine to five. I'm doing YouTube. I'm trying to do everything along that comes with the social media, so trying to invest a lot of time into myself like I would invest my time to someone else for a 9 to 5. You know, they're going to use you, so you use them. Get your bread up. There's no point of not working a 9 to 5. Get the money up. Throw it all towards to what you want to be. So y'all believe in your boy, believe in yourselves, and we're going to get through these hard times together, and I'm going to show y'all that it's possible, but it's just a little minor detour in our life that we are going to be able to get through. Nothing is that crazy and nothing is that extravagant to get in the front row parking as y'all boys can see. We got our wheels and our tires. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. Yeah, I got one little minor scratch on there, bro. That's all that this wheel took on the driver's side. Everything looks good on that. In here, this is the bent joint. As you can see, can't really see, but y'all can see the broke down ZL1. Live in the flesh alive. It's actually been three hours since my video went up. It's 8.25. I'm currently at the best my YouTube video's ever been, so I appreciate all of the love, truthfully. As I rebuild this process, the Z is gonna come back even stronger. I'm here to drop my parts off to my boy to get my car right. Y'all can see the wheels in the back, both of my front ones back, my coolant, the water cooler, jetter, juices. I got my dive plans, which I haven't even got to show y'all. I haven't even got to show y'all, bro. I have not even got to show y'all. I'm not gonna open it up because I'm gonna let bro or maybe when I come over do all the, the fun unboxing. Those are new dive planes and grill inserts. I'll show y'all the grill inserts. These come from Wild Hamlet Direct OEM. Oh, look, there's another dive plane. And then we got the grill inserts. These or this company actually makes all the parts for the ZL1, the dive planes and the inserts. It's like a third party. You can see right here, a wild hammer. So if you have a ZL1 and you want to do a conversion kit, you see like my, my broken bumper right there. You can see it kind of. That's how you get those. Direct OEM. Throw it on yours. I'm going to put it back in the box. Put these dive planes back in the box. We're going to let that boy Tony... Bob the Builder, the Z back up. Hopefully the Z will be back. But Y'all let me know if I should wrap the Z or paint it or put headers on it and wrap it or be realistic, paint it and put headers on it or if I should just wrap it since I'm going to have to have no paint and if it messes the paint up taking the wrap off. This boy Tony, he talks about I couldn't sneak up on him but I'm literally out here at the whip right now and He's still not outside. But I'm gonna show y'all the ZL1 for all the people who are new to the channel. This is my ZL1 that I wrecked. But it's in the process of coming back to life. By the time y'all see the video, you know the Z might be back on the road. It's dirty as shit, but it's gotta get painted. It don't look too bad though. In all honesty, in all honesty, it don't look too bad. I hate to see her like this though. Oh, it sucks, it sucks. But she's coming back better than ever. 
That boy's still inside. He said I couldn't sneak up on his ass, boy. I would have done stole his socks, his boots, the hell kizzy and everything. There's my aux radiator that broke. That's why I got the new upgraded cooling radiator. Because this right here is the same price as the whole thing. So I got that back on the way. I'm going to drop the car because you can see your boy's on coilovers and I wasn't even lowered all the way. So I'm going to lower this tank all the way down once it's back on the road. But yeah, that's the Z. And then we go 5th gen ZL1. If you need 5th gen headers, I have long tube headers, Texas Speed, right now for 750 bucks. If you got a 5th gen SS, ZL1, anything like that, I have Texas Speed long tubes, brand new, in the box, unused. O2 extensions. Oh, what's up, kitty? Where there's a cat. What you doing, kitty mama? Look. Look. Little kitty. Doing a squirt. Yeah. If you do need long tube headers, let me know down below. And I can ship them, do whatever. I guess I'm going to call this boy Tony and see if his ass is outside or not. Because, bro, I could have done stole off with all this. And he's talking about he would know if I'm here. Stupid. But I got him a Mountain Dew. He hit me with the Mountain Dew tax. But I feel like it's fair because he is fixing the car. That's Tony's special right there. The diabetes special. Let me call this dude and tell him to get his ass outside or I'm gonna come in there and beat his bitch ass. Look, I'm gonna call him right now live. I told you, I would burn your dumb ass. Uh-huh, I would have burnt you three times. Oh. Unless you pop out of the tree or something, you would have been done. One day closer to being back. It's just fucking twisted. I know that one is. I can fix it. No, we got a whole new one. I can fix this, baby. We got a whole new one. Now I need that. Yeah. We don't need that one. We just bought a new one. I can fix that bracket. What bracket? This metal bracket right here. This is separate. This this is setting inside a bracket. You see right here? Take this screw out, flip that down, take these out, take that bolt over there, you can lift this bracket up, that comes out. I can straighten that metal fucking bracket. Maybe. Motherfucker, well, there ain't no maybe to it. What do you mean? I can save $55. Possibly, that bitch might look like that when you get done with it. <clears throat> I bet I can make it look like this one over here. Out. This fucking metal, it will bend. Obviously, you see the other side. You, that right there, you, you're telling me you can get it. I can straight. make that other one straight, just like that one. <coughs> <coughs> that intake this. is crazy up in there, though. Sh shut up, I got this. This car is never coming back to life. Car, the car is never coming back to life. Fuck with me, I'll drive that motherfucker by your house in the morning. I keep thinking it's gonna be my car coming down. You know that, right? Are we rolling them? No, we're gonna them up here now. These bitches are gonna get stolen. I'm not Just left Tony's, getting back home, doing my nice nightly walk back to the crib, bro. Maybe one of the the last walks of many, but Cat Durango next or track hawk. I've been thinking of going track hawk or GT3. Y'all know GT3 RS is like my dream, dream. Whip. But I feel like for to make the YouTube channel do the best that it can do, I feel like I gotta go track. Business oriented plan. Get all the views, get the money off the track. Keep the track, keep the Z. Or keep the Z, get a track. Run up my bag. Get a GZ3 RS. Let me know. Let me know. Because I think a track, being able to pull the Z, I could sell my Ranger, I can use a track as a truck, I can do all that. Yes, sir. But let me know. Let me know. I think track next, keep the Z, matching wraps. I'm going to be traveling this year, so I could take both everywhere. Bring Shorty, she could drive the tracky. I could drive the Z-Ski, that'd be wild. We'll put my keys and my wallet up. Currently 10.23. The wheels are in, radiators in, coolant, 160 thermostat, wheels fixed and ready to go. So really all I'm waiting for is the little control arm thing that holds the wheel to be able to make it go straight and it not fall off or 
you know. I'm getting a fade tomorrow, so your boy's gonna have a better haircut. So it's gonna be no more turban top. Probably swing past the Z. I'm trying to get to it in daylight for y'all. We got Wardo Wick right here. She's being sweet. She's mean sometimes, but she's showing love. She's showing love. Hopefully more news on the parts. Hopefully they get ordered, bro. Fuck. Long process, long process, but I'm bringing the content to y'all. Y'all just adapt. Y'all keep enjoying these longer videos. <clears throat> y'all boys sleep good. Y'all gonna hear from me into the next day, brothers. Yo, we back in the range. Go tap in with my boy Santi. I'm about to get this mop cut off my head. You know, if God throws something or something happens in your life that is a little like not how you wanted it to, you know what I mean? Like something bad happens, you uh, wreck the car, you know, in my situation, just know God might have a bigger plan for you. Don't give up. We at West Coast Barbershop now, as you can see. Is it because my fade is too hard? I'm giving y'all the in low, slow motion. You know what I'm saying? Y'all rate the fade, my boy Santi Cash Cuts. He goes by cash. If you walk in there, don't say Santi, he goes by cash. Your boy got a cookout shake. A cookout tray under the armpit, as you can see. I'm waiting to hear back from Tony. I'm about to go back to work, though. I got a couple cars I'm gonna cook up real quick, get my bread back up, because you know your boy is down hella tremendously on the breadery. But the fade's coming too clean, bro. I'm not going too live. But I'm about to go meet up with my boy at some point, figure out where these parts are at, or I'm gonna have to go grab fucking Tony by a sacky or something to get him to work. My boy going too slow. I could have done order the whole wheel, whole new car, whole damn everything, boy, and put it back together myself. Hey, all right, we got another part in, boys. Another ZL1 part. I've officially, I think, ordered every part that I physically can order that is replaceable uh, for, like, the common person, you know. Now I'm waiting for these damn parts, a shop or whoever, to give me a quote that isn't trying to charge me fucking labor. I don't know who thinks you can charge labor on selling parts like it takes a whole lot of labor like my boy Tony got me a list delivered all they have to do is just order parts and they're trying to charge labor on it that's not happening so we're trying to figure that out um, but other than that dude every parts in my wheels in, radiators in I'm waiting for my tow hook to come in that got pulled off by the tow truck driver I don't know what part of um, hey my tow hook isn't uh, it's just for looks they didn't understand that so that costed me $150. But other than that, I've officially got every part. This is the last part I could have ordered. My rock guards, nice fucking $50 for these, $60, some shit like that. But we're back alive and better. Now, eventually I'll get the good news of, hey, my parts are on the way, and then my car will literally be back together in one day of parts being back. I'm about to leave work though. I'm gonna wait to hear from Tony. I'm gonna update y'all. Hopefully ordering parts soon trying to get that shit done for the last like mm, three weeks now But it's all good. My boy Tony putting in that work for me I'm trying to be appreciative of the slow but steady um, progress here, but It's being slow and steady and everything feels longer when you're impatient and waiting for something great But I'm out of work. It's a slow week. So I'm making do of my free time. Let's get the fuck out of here Yeah, let's get out of here it's gonna be fucking great today. Let's go do big things. Let's go try to motivate and inspire the youth to be better or something. All right, I'm not even sure what day number we are on this vlog. All I know is that it's finally, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the day of ordering my parts. I got my total, and you're probably wondering like, what do you got right here? This is my, that hidden sack, you know what I'm saying? I keep this hidden sack on me, but this is covering like half of my parts. I'm about to have to run to the bank and get the rest of the half, you know what I'm saying? But I keep a little bit of blue cheese on me just for a rainy day like today. So I got lucky, have been saving up a little bit of extra cash that I get. So I'm gonna count this up, then we gotta run to the bank and get the, hold on, let me get my money spread for y'all boys. Cause I really think y'all, y'all really think this, this is a setback, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not looking forward to spending this cash because I could have got like a, you know, something Oh shit, money spread. Money spread gonna get leveled up eventually once I stack more bread. But we got a total of 36.92.49 for parts. And then once the parts are in, hopefully all special orders should be here soon. I'm about to run to the bank. We're gonna count this up, go get our difference. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna put this bitch in sacks of 500 because your boy is slow. And I do forget where I'm at. Two, three, four, five. That's a Bansky. 
one, two. Two, that's a bend. It's a hundred. Two hundred, two, four, six, eight, ten. We're gonna keep all the spare change. So we got a band, and we got one, two, three, 1.3 K right here. 1.3 K that I'm about to take right now as we speak, I'm gonna put this shit, Bansky, Bansky, 1.3 Bansky, hold on so y'all know, so y'all know, it's about to all go towards unnecessary parts that we didn't need to buy, but it'll be all right. I'm about to go to the bank, get the rest. I've got, I forgot how much I said, 1.3, 1.3. So we're gonna go 3,700, 3,700 minus 1,300. I gotta get 2,400 out of the bank. It's gonna suck, but it'll be all right. Money's just an object. You know it's not real. Prints out of thin air. There's enough in the world for everybody to be billionaires. So we're not gonna get too attached on this check. We're about to go drop it, meet up with that boy, Tony. I'm about to get that boy on Tony grabbing my money just in case that boy scams me. I'll see him online. Like, I'm having this whole process documented. I'm not the biggest fan of giving cash over to go get parts ordered, but I'm gonna have faith in God. God's got a bigger plan. If I get robbed, it's for a bigger reason. Hopefully, not because that ain't light cheese to come up by when you're, you know, 22. But I'm about to take this cheesery. I'm gonna go to the bank, get 2400 and then give that shit to my boy Tony. Here we go, big body TRX. But I'm about to go up into First Citizens. Hopefully they're open on the inside. I gotta get a fucking $2,400 bag out. Could have bought myself a Roly or one of the boys a Roly, but we are about to break the bank as you boys can see. I'm up in First Citizens. Now, I do suggest for y'all boys that do wanna get these Hellcats and get these Z's, man. Before, like, I've got an unfortunate, but now that I've got enough time in these cars, you gotta at least have like probably 10 bands saved up. If you're gonna buy one of these cars, have 10 bands saved up, so if you do some stupid shit, you run off the road, you break something, something breaks on it, and you wanna come out of pocket and not go through insurance, because insurance is gonna drop full value on these cars. Like, if I wreck this car, turned it on insurance, I'd lose 20K, like from 70K to 55K, just on um, just this wreck being a, a minor setback. But I got these parts, I got some more parts that came in. These are my mud guards. I have, I think I showed y'all boys, but I'm about to run in the bank. Enough yapping, I'm gonna get this bread, 2400, and I'm gonna be back. And hopefully this is the last time, 2400 bucks in an envelope, 3700 bucks in parts. I got a thousand already in my wheel and my radiator and like small stuff to get it back together. So I'm at around, probably $4,900 to fix the Z without paint. I just gotta figure out now, make sure all the stuff's ordered, make sure nothing's on back order because everything is special order. So like once it's ordered, like literally it's yours, no refundables, that's what you get with the ZL1 1LE. They only made so many. So I guess if they make the parts, they wanna know they're selling them. But hey, it's what I gotta do. It's all I can do, you know, so y'all bear with me. We're gonna get through these hard times. I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'm gonna figure it all out, you know, Y'all bear with your boy. We gonna do big things that like are around you are gonna support you until they're doing better than you. Or as long as they're above you, they're gonna support you. So if you're going through the times where like you feel like maybe you're alone, there was times where I felt like I was alone through this process or you know, coming through YouTube. Maybe if you're new to YouTube and you're trying to get motivational, inspirational words, I'm your boy, so you know, y'all come to me. I got Troy Bell calling me. We got a fucking bot spawn call. I'm gonna answer this. All right, the f moment of truth. Hopefully this is the vlog, your boy. Y'all like, at this point, y'all are like, bro, hurry up and get your parts ordered. Y'all are probably tired of hearing me. I'm about to do the saddest money spread for y'all because literally, like, this could have been money towards headers, money towards a wrap. I pretty much have wrapped and put headers and stars in the roof just by wrecking it but it's all right you know we got crisp blue benjis the crispiest blue benjis it's kind of sad hard work just to you know kind of throw it away but god's plan i'm just gonna accept it two three four 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 2400, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 3700 bucks. The rest of the shit should be ordered. The ZL1 on the way. This sucks, but. These are crispy as hell too. Crispiest blue strips. Y'all gonna learn. I'm gonna do big things with this shit though. Promise y'all I'm gonna keep going. It's only a sad, you know, comeback or a sad time in the in the Bailey Wise history, but we're gonna bounce back. Um, could be a small price to be paid for the long haul. Y'all gotta think of that. I'm gonna think of this as just a business move. I wrecked my car. Thankfully, God did allow me to record it. You know, I wrecked my car, but I did get it on camera. So I'm at least somehow monetarily going to bounce back some just from the video. Maybe I got new supporters. Maybe it was the video I needed to get my, my channel out there. So I'm looking at it kind of as that aspect. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully God's plan. It should be worth it. Hopefully everything goes to as planned and fruition. And there's a bigger plan and meaning behind all of this. I'm going to pick up the camera once my boy Tony gets here. He's on the way. We're going to collect money, pay up, get him on camera. So if he robs me, his bitch ass is in 4K. And, uh, yeah, hopefully parts will be ordered today. Parts, I get an update hopefully Monday or so. Parts will be in. Literally all I need is a tire rod and my radiator put back on. And I'll literally have um, a car that's able to move besides of, like, painting, bumpers getting put on, all that. Literally the only reason my car isn't starting right now is because my... Radiators, my new upgrade radiators got to get put on tire rod to be able to make the wheel go straight, align it, do all this, do all that. But appreciate all y'all new to the channel. Road to 10K still. I love all y'all, man. For real, for real. We're going to get through this small hump. Y'all are going to see it from me. If it happens to you, just know that money's not real. It literally happens. Just pay it, fix it, bam, 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 get it over with. We're on to the next. It's only a problem until you solve it and then we forget about it. Making my lunch as we speak. I got a piece of bread. Trying to get all this shit in between my day, bro. Working like still a normal job. I still work my nine to five. I just don't have a, an appointment till two o'clock. It's currently 105. As long as I don't have a car at work, I'm pretty much just able to leave. So I've just kind of built my structure around YouTube my whole life. People say like, hey bro, it's not possible where I'm from. It's not possible with my circumstances, but like literally, I'm just like you boys. I had an apartment complex just like randomly spawn up behind work. So like a little quick story time for y'all. Um, I'm working at my job maybe six months to a year after they open, like our new location, they started building these apartments that I'm in now behind this apartment. And it was um, always like super expensive, super nice. So I didn't ever expect to like live in them. Save money, cook eggs, I got peanut butter toast, we got grits, just cooked up a cup of joe, all that, I have no car, your boy's just been forced into being put in situations that he's uncomfortable with, unused to, and that's part of growth, a lot of you boys, y'all want to get better, and y'all want to grow, and y'all want to do certain things, but aren't willing to take the necessary apprehensions or complications that come with wanting to be great, like if you want to be great, you're going to have great Things that you're gonna have to over hurdle, overcome, just be bigger than. And it all starts with just starting and realizing that. And if you wanna be great, bro, you're gonna have terrible things happen to you. It's just part of the game. So I'm gonna show you how to get through it. I'm gonna show you my grind, my blueprint, and how I get through it. But I know a lot of y'all don't know. Mocha is coming into town. And of course y'all don't know because I haven't told y'all, but I have to pack and I'm a slow person so I get everything done. And this is still like shit from the 24 hour challenge in my book bag. I just am super slow. I take forever to do everything, but I still got stuff from my 24 hour challenge in this book bag. If y'all haven't watched that video, y'all go make sure to check it out. But damn, I wish I knew that was in there. I would have smacked all of this a long time ago. Not gonna lie. But, move that out of the way. We are going to Tennessee, taking a trip, a little Valentine's vacation. 
that is a surprise to her. Obviously, she knows she's um, going somewhere. Just haven't really told her where, what location. I was trying to get an Airbnb for a house and go crazy, but couldn't get a house. It was a little much, and I wrecked my car all kind of in the same spawn point of area. So I've been blessed enough to use a family member's, um, what's that thing called, travel points or something. So we're getting a hotel pretty much for less than 50 bucks. So I got blessed with that. So I'm taking her there. It's also the same place like I ended up breaking up with a girlfriend and my mom took me there for Valentine's Day, which is like really weird. Or, um, same exact hotel I ended up crying and ended up talking to her for one of like the first times way, way back when, when your boy was like stupid for the second time and not like the 50 millionth time. But I sold my bag again after that. But same hotel that we went to, which is crazy I'm taking her to now. Never even would have thought that we would be back locked in together because your boy made a lot of stupid choices in life and sold his bag a lot with shorty he's with now. So y'all gotta learn from your boy. But we got through it. I should be all packed now. Y'all see I'm moving like a million miles an hour. This is me always constantly on the go, 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 go. Always something I can do, always something that I feel like I can do. So there's been like times where sometimes I catch myself just going crazy. Or you know, if I'm not doing anything, I stress myself out and I'm like, bro, you're not doing anything. You're not growing. Bad characteristic trait, but I guess also a cursing and a blessing. Like, if I'm not working on a video, posting something on Instagram, working up at my job, doing something, there's just always like, I feel like something I gotta be doing. But, which is a blessing because before I wouldn't have had a whole lot of things to do and it was literally just my job. So I'm blessed to have all these situations and the problems are occurrences I do that have take play in my life. I'm blessed to be, um, you know, the problems I have and you could have problems that are a little worse. Like I'm grateful to have ZL1 problems instead of problems where I would have been like a couple years ago or, you know, whatever your problems may be, just imagine and remember like you used to pray for where you're at. So don't be hard. Don't give up. I used to pray for the times to regret. Like I used to pray for a ZL1. Now I crash and have ZL1 problems. So it's kind of like a curse and a blessing. Like it comes with it. Last part that was in tow truck driver. If you do end up watching, you costed me 150 bucks by not just fucking listening to me. Next time I say my tow hook isn't gonna pull my car out it's just for looks. I mean that. Well, I guess I did uh, this time upgrade my tow hook. I'm gonna go ahead and open it just so I can touch, feel, and realize that my car is coming back to pieces because I've handed off all my parts. Tony's calling me, he said that he's going through all this process to figure out parts himself. Let's see if we're getting robbed or not. Phone calls in, phone calls in. What are you doing, bastard? Do what? That's because you said you were doing it all yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm doing it my fucking self, so I'm going to save a little bit more money. How? I might have saved you another 60 bucks. How? Okay, I got friends, bitch. Shut up. Well, as long as you're getting parts, shit. Well, I'm at the place ordering personally myself, motherfucker. Well. Motherfucker, if you can save money here and there, you can save money, motherfucker. Yeah, I agree. Well, I'll let you but do yeah, what he's, you do. He's, well, I'm good. I walked outside. He's finishing up the order right now. Right. We don't went over everything three times. Hey, hey. What? Hey, What's paint correction on it? Or do paint correction and damn uh, ceramic again. But then at that point, I got the whole rap. Rap YouTube likes the rap. And then the paint's already fucked up anyway. I don't like YouTube raps. If you, need, if you don't rap that motherfucker, you need to rap it like a cock and balls. All right. That's like what, the balls are dragging. That's what you're about to come get from me. You keep playing. I'm just kidding. Wait, don't rap the goddamn car. I might. I got to figure out what YouTube's on. If YouTube's paying, I'm going to rap it. YouTube ain't paying shit. YouTube is paying. Well, YouTube better start paying some labor. They are. That's why I told you. I told you to keep, you know, a day's work. Hey, hey, you heard instead of being haters, I ain't gonna charge you nothing. Like, well, I've been trying. I've got it on Facebook. What the fuck? Yes, I am, you bastard. I'm also. I'm trying to fucking. I'm running around the map, getting money, dropping stuff off to you, ordering parts that I can, trying to sell your shit, work at the same time, work at YouTube. You have, you have, you've done the hard shit, but I've also, I've been, I've been working too, I've been trying to do what I can in between my job, 
Hey, that'll be good. I'm excited. You'll, you'll have a straight driveway. It might be gravel for a little while, but you'll have a driveway. I, I had to wreck my car to figure out that I was going to be your new neighbor, huh? I don't want you to be my neighbor. I'm going to hide from you. Hey, fucker. Don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna come burying good. I'm gonna work. fucking cook you naked cookies and come deliver them with my balls all hanging over. Them. I hope you put a fucking ring camera up because you gonna fucking be at work and see my ball on the camera. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be yeah, driving. Do it. Good news, double good news. Hopefully the parts are on the way and we did not get screwed. I'm getting my receipt here soon for that. Parts should be in thirty-seven hundred dollars or less. Might be getting some money back. Also, what I was telling y'all, oh, and other good news, hopefully surveying the land for my new crib to come. God's plan, you know what I'm saying? I may have wrecked my car to find this land, but the price of the land and the perfectively, everything about the land is all worth wrecking the car, paying that just to find it. Yeah, it's great. I'm not going to lie. We're going to go into more detail. I just don't want to get myself happy because I'm getting fucking butterflies thinking about it. ZL1 add-ons. Shout out tow truck guy. He made me buy this. If you do want a tow truck, or if you do want a tow hook, I think this one might actually be usable. I don't know. It says tow one, as you can see, and it's perfectly packaged. ZL1 add-ons, feather light, or whatever, the light tow hook option. And since you know they got my dumb ass, I'm a YouTuber. I bought the YouTube GoPro mount. Have to have that. In case I ever wreck again, I'll have a POV of it on the GoPro. But hopefully we stick away from all the wrecking. This one also is a lot higher quality from my other one as you can see it says toe on it that shit's hard not gonna lie not gonna lie and then we got on the back zl1 add-ons they made a high quality one and also i guess i gotta figure this out i'm sure maybe that bolt comes out and the mount goes in there and that's how we have our gopro mount i don't know i'm gonna mess around with that i figured you know i'm buying a tow hook might as well buy the mount extra 30 bucks they got your boy delivered so hopefully by next time y'all see me, my next video is about to pick up where this one ends. I got Shorty on the way. We're about to be getting to Tennessee. This was planned to go bring my car, do a bunch of cool things through the mountains with it, but things didn't go as planned, unfortunately. But we're about to spend time together. I'm still going to vlog. Y'all still, still see me and Shorty go on our trip. But this is another part we're going to drop off in another video once I get my receipt and all that. Y'all heard my boy on the phone. Um, but this is the video. Appreciate all y'all boys through the process. This has been the whole process of ordering parts, delivering parts. Now, next time y'all see us, we should be getting parts in, like actual actual main parts. Um, y'all stay tuned with me. Big things coming, either painting or wrapping the Z. I don't know. Got to figure out. Um, and from here, I love all y'all. Thank y'all for holding me down. Thank y'all for everything. Hopefully the Z will be back in that condition here soon. And then we'll go GT3 or maybe 765. Who knows? Maybe all three. But... If you can see it, you can touch it, you can believe it, you can achieve it. So lock in. It's our year 2024, big year. Bad things happen. We can only go up from here. Keep locked in. I'm going to stay locked in. Y'all see me getting through it. Y'all get through it. I'm going to tap in with y'all boys in the next video.